Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at what urbanisation is and patterns of urban growth across the world. This is part of paper two, unit A, urban issues and challenges. Urbanisation means the increasing proportion of a country's population living in urban areas, i.e. towns and cities. This process happened in high income countries such as the UK following the Industrial Revolution when people flocked into towns and cities to find work in factories. It has happened much more recently in newly emerging economies and low income countries. Let's have a look at urban growth across the world. The world's population has grown dramatically since the 19th century and is still growing. During the 20th century, the global population grew from 1.6 billion people in 1900 to 6.17 billion people by the year 2000. And we hit 8 billion people across the globe in November 2022. As the global population has increased, the proportion of people living in urban areas has also increased. Since 2010, more people in the world live in towns and cities than rural areas. In 2023, 57% of the global population was urban. This equates to around 4.61 billion people compared to 3.45 billion rural dwellers. HICs often have a high proportion of people living in cities, usually between 80 and 90% of the population. This is because people moved to urban areas to find work when the country industrialised in the past. This has resulted in crowded cities with thousands of high-rise buildings and skyscrapers. Hong Kong, which is pictured on screen, has the most with over 9,000 high-rise buildings, including 4,000 skyscrapers that stand taller than 100 metres high and 554 buildings above 150 metres high. Now the rate of growth of these cities has slowed down and some cities are even seeing a decrease in their population size. This is due to counter urbanisation, the process of people moving out of the cities to the countryside where they think the quality of life will be better. Many people now live in the countryside and commute to work in the city. LICs tend to have a much lower proportion of people living in cities, usually between 30 and 40% of the population. However, many of these cities are now growing rapidly, following the pattern seen in NEE such as Nigeria, Brazil, India and China, which have all rapidly urbanised since the 1980s. So why does urbanisation happen? The first reason is migration. Urban areas may grow because people move from them from other countries, which is international migration, or they may move from other places in the same country, which we call internal migration. When people move to towns and cities from rural areas or the countryside, it is known as rural to urban migration and it is the result of push and pull factors. Push factors are reasons for people to leave a place, such as poverty, crop failure, conflict, a lack of access to education and healthcare, or maybe poor water or electricity supplies. Whereas pull factors are reasons for people to move to a place and the perceived idea of a better quality of life. This might include job opportunities, better access to education and healthcare, or perhaps to join family members. The second reason for urban growth is natural increase. If the birth rate in a town or city is higher than the death rate, then the population will increase. The death rate has dropped in urban areas around the world due to residents having access to a varied diet, better access to clean water and sanitation systems and more access to healthcare facilities. There is a marked difference in quality of life between urban and rural areas in NEEs and LICs. Additionally, many of the people who move from rural areas to urban areas are young adults, so will often go on to have children, which pushes the birth rate up. Rapid urban growth means that millions of people across the globe live in blocks like the one on the screen or in formal settlements which we will cover in another video. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on urbanisation. Thank you for watching.